So I realized last night while Skyping with Nikki that 13 year old me was the beginning of 8th grade and I can't remember 8th grade. So, as you probably could tell, it's Dear Me Week and in real life as the other girls have done it. And I haven't watched, other than the girls, I haven't watched anybody else's Dear Me, so I'm not sure if there's a specific way to do it. I put an idea in my head and I'm just going to go with how I perceive dear me. Dear me, 13 year old me, what even happened your 8th grade year? Dear me, look at it, you're 14, you're about to graduate middle school and you showed that teacher that you aren't dumb and you would make it. Dear me, summer is here and you just lost a good friend but you started band camp and you just made a new best friend and she's gonna be one of your closest friends. Dear me, you just started high school and you decided to wear heels on the first day. You will, <laughs> you will definitely regret that decision. Dear me, you finally have more of a social life. Between marching band and your newfound best friend, things are looking up. Dear me, it's your sophomore year in high school and your best friend just moved to another school. But the only good thing is, it's just the town over. Dear me, your best friend's making new friends at her new school. And as time will come, they'll be your new best friends as well. Dear me, you basically just got invited to your first party, a New Year's Eve party at your new best friend's house. All, all the friends from, some of your friends from your town and her town are there and new people. It's going to be a blast. Dear me, something's wrong. You don't know what. You slowly start to eat less and you don't really see what the problem is. Dear me, you meet a guy and you fall for him and you fall for him hard. He's all you can think about and he's so sweet with a brilliant smile. Dear me, out of bad circumstances, you are forced to tell that boy your feelings for him, and he doesn't like you back, and it breaks your heart. Dear me, it's summer 2011, and it has its ups and downs. You got your first kiss, even though it was unintentional, and you thought that would have been something, but you wound up shutting him out. Dear me, you're going into your senior year, and look, you just lost your best friend. You were told that you weren't good enough, you don't deserve it. You don't deserve respect, and that you have no friends, and you're basically a piece of shit. And all in one simple text message. Dear me, if you want to call it, you become slightly depressed. You discover Tumblr during the summer, but now that you don't have many friends anymore, you spend most of your nights liking and reblogging random things. Dear me, you have become closer to another girl, and she introduced you to One Direction. Finally, a truth smile is forming on your face, and you're becoming happy. Dear me, you are meeting new friends because of One Direction. Nikki and Carly are their names. You don't know it now. They just may seem like girls on the internet that live far away, but they'll become a crucial part of your life. Dear me. You did it. You graduated high school. You showed those people who you are and that they couldn't boss you around and that you were something. Dear me. Fast forward to now. And you discovered a part of yourself that you always questioned because you fully never understood how you got into some of those moods. You have more friends than you could ever dream of even though they all live far away. California, Kentucky, Australia, Rhode Island, Estonia, Canada. Hear me. You're making a name for yourself. You're not always letting your sad self get to you all the time. Dear me. You have come so far, have lost so many people who thought would have been forever, but have gained people who can last literally a lifetime. Dear me. You will look back and think that you should change all that shit, all the drama that went down in the past seven years. But when you're 20, typing all this down, realizing you wouldn't change it for anything. Because if you did it, 
if you didn't become friends with that girl in band, then you never would have found Tumblr. If you never would have found Tumblr, you never would have become close with another girl. If you didn't become close with another girl, you wouldn't have discovered One Direction. If you haven't discovered One Direction, you wouldn't have some of the friends you are now. You wouldn't have become a fan girl, and you would not have the life that you have now. You wouldn't have the girls of in real life. You wouldn't have Jasmine. You wouldn't have Erica. You wouldn't have anybody that you have now if it, you decided to change one little aspect of your life. You wouldn't be the person you are today. Just one perk that could have made a bad day could have cost you the great life that you are maintaining now. Dear me, you may not know it now, but maybe, but you'll love yourself. Just give it some time. Maybe not at 20 and maybe not at 30. Dear me, you rock. Dear me, you roll. See you guys next week. And I'm excited for next week's too, like Nikki said, because it's going to be awesome. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Make sure to like and subscribe. And bye.